Y'all know what time it is, and uh, I kind of uh, I kind of procrastinated a little bit again. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Rare. I'm your guy Ninja Killer 74. We're gonna get back in the mix by going to uh, go to the flower shop. In the last part, the cat lost his fucking head. How he lost his head? I d I've never seen that happen before. I've quite literally have never seen that happen before in this game. That like weirded me all the hell out. Anyways, we're going to go work at the flower shop today because we're going to try to find out some information. Uh, we're going to try to find out some information, I guess, about the uh, the stuff that's going on down here. Yeah, and we're going to talk about it right here. Hello, flower shop lady. I would like to work here today. Also, if you were not fully maxed out on your kindness and whatever, um, I would advise you probably to get like a reading, a luck reading from Chihiro. I said Chihiro. Jesus, that's a completely different character. Yeah. Chihaya. Oh, right. I did explain things to you last time. Let's see. We have our happy flower days on Wednesdays and Saturdays, which is when we offer discounts on bouquets. I'll be having you choose the flowers for the bouquets. Or bouquets, too. Bouquets. <laughs> I might even bump up your pay if the customer really likes your arrangement. So, I know today isn't happy flower day, but we do have a bouquet request. It's important that you get some practice in, so let's have you start making one. Rencoon, we have an order for a bouquet. Please handle it. The customer is looking for large, brightly colored flowers. Pick three to fit that, that description. All right. Okay. All right. Let's make sure we pick the right flowers. Hmm. This request is for large, brightly colored flowers. I bet light colors or white would even work too. Which flower will you pick first? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. You're going to pick the scarlet rose. You are going to pick the gold uh, ger... ger, ger Gerbera, however the hell you say, I'm not a botanist, okay? And, uh, uh, uh and the, uh, Gecko Orchid. What do you want to do? Yes, that is exactly what we're gonna get. Hey, hey. Fingers crossed. Amazing! Our customer was extremely happy! <laughs> if you suggest, or if you want to know more about, uh, flowers, I suggest you read the Flowerpedia. Most of the flowers we sell here should be in there, so I'm sure to help you read it. Here. Well, here's your paper today. I gave you a little bonus because of how well you did. Oh, 78 bucks? Nice. You did great. Be careful on your way home, okay? Nice. Work went great today. Living surrounded by flowers might be your true calling, and you were good with the customers, too. Okay, looks like we got nothing yet on the, uh... It looks like we'll have to work here again to get more target or information on the target. So we can't get nothing here yet, but hey, it seems like we, uh, that was a start. Anyways, we're gonna go hang out with the twins tonight, actually. Uh, aha! Crossword puzzle. Always check here just to, you know, be sure. A stationary hotspot. Heat. I don't know. Psychic sensations. A vision? Oh, it's not a vision. Oh, what the fuck? I don't want to do that. Alright, what's this one right here? Hawaiian garland? A lay? Yeah, a lay. <gasps> oh! Heat. No, it's not that. Palm fruit. Um, a coconut? Yeah, coconut. All right, coconut lay, um, psychic sensations. Is this a volcano? No, it can't be. Wait, it's an island. Okay, so then what is this word right here, though? Oh. one. If 
that's island. That's coconut. That's lay. What the fuck? I'm trying to think. Uh... Some type of divination, or a, I don't know, or a vi oh, okay, I, I, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, my fault, vibes, and uh, yeah, island. There we go. I got to be stupid for a little bit. All right, nice, nice going. All right, we can skip through all that. We don't need to see this. All right. Now, let's go to the Velvet Room, because we want to go talk to the, uh, to the twins. Hello, Justine. I, I said hello, Justine. What are you going to do today? All right, time to name the location, Justine. You do the honors. No. Listen closely. The place we wish to evaluate for your rehabilitation is... somehow capable of simulating the ocean despite being indoors. Rumor has it the sea creatures from all around the world have been gathered in this one place. Ah, so the aquarium. What an incredulous claim. Recreating something as vast as the ocean within a building? Does such a location sound familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. It could be the aquarium in Shinagawa. What'll you do? So what'll it be? You mean the aquarium? <laughs> oh, an aquarium, huh? Guess we'll see how well it's recreated Mother Ocean. Let us see just what humanity is capable of. Now, lead us there. Alright. The fishies! These glass walls certainly make it appear as if we are walking along the floor of the ocean. It's my first time in this place, but it feels familiar to me somehow. It's all the blue. Such a superficial detail would not preoccupy us. Know your place, inmate. Don't act like you're some sort of expert, inmate. Well, gee, I was just making an observation. Let's continue inspecting the premises. There are a number of other exhibits we've yet to see. So many different kinds of fish! Yes, the semi-transparent floating invertebrates were quite fascinating. I believe they were named... Jellyfish? Those sea cucumber life forms were also very intriguing. Really? They only creeped me out. The exhibit with the enormous fish was much cooler. The killer whale, if I remember correctly. What nonsense is this? The jellyfish are far more appealing. No, the killer whale is clearly superior. Inmate. Hey. Settle this. I'ma be real. Orcas slap dog. There's some they are some dickheads, but hey, they are they are indeed cool. I knew you'd get it right, inmate. How can you not see the undulating allure of the jellyfish? Perhaps you'll understand them better if I remove all your bones. I believe we've completed our inspection of the premises, correct? We've seen how oceanic life forms from all over the world have been gathered here by humans. Indeed. That raises a question, though. Why do humans go through the trouble of collecting other creatures and putting them on public display? Ooh, she getting deep? To assert their dominance, to seek their appetite, to admire nature. Although you could argue that you could just watch nature while in nature. So they construct this chamber of concrete glass only to confine themselves in it alongside the creatures? The arrogance. If they admire nature so much, they should just move to a rainforest. I still don't get you humans. Whatever the case may be, this assignment is now complete. Here is your reward. Masukukasha. Masakunda. Alright, it's time it's time to head back. Hmm? A free penguin show will begin shortly at the exhibition stage. Please come and enjoy the performance. What is a penguin? A cute flightless bird. Hmm. We have no particular interest in such a display. But since you look like you're dying to witness this inmate, we'll tag along. After watching the penguin show, I escorted the twins back to the velvet room. 
We have to watch penguins, bro. I don't want to watch penguins. Tuesday! Who are we going to hang out with today? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I think we're going to hit up. Yeah, let's go talk to about to our artist homie, man. Our, our boy Yusuke. To the underground walkway. Wait. What the hell? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well, sorry, I got a little bit uh, distracted. Uh, we're going to talk to our boy, Yusuke, who, as you've seen in the previous parts, he has some of the best uh, coming out events in the game. Hmm. Hello, Yusuke. All we have to do now is... Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Okay, nerve record time. Meanwhile, I am here to observe the public in an attempt to refresh my mind. Do you need something? Yeah, we're going to hang out, bro. <laughs> a wealth of free time, if that is your decision. Do you remember Director Kawanabe of the Japanese Art Support Foundation? Yeah, the old dude who... Uh, who uh, ran into us at the, uh, the atelier. The man who offered his support to me at Madarami's house. I would like your assistance with him. Do you have time to spare? Satanta! Yeah, let's hang out with, with him. Thank you. That would really help me out. I find it quite suspicious that he would offer money to a mere high school student like me. I am grateful for his offer, but I am unsure what to do. Try calling him. Indeed. Yeah, I must cling on to any semblance of hope. I can find in this world. Very well. I will call him. He says he's uh, willing to meet me this very instant. I would appreciate it if you could join me, Ren. Your presence can help me ease my societal discomfort as well as defuse the temptation of money. Furthermore, your composure will allow you to tell if he is truly attempting to scam me. Kawanabe-san is waiting for us at the sushi bar. I already told him that you will be coming, so let us go. I'm going to take a sip real quick. Ah, it's Baja Blast today. <laughs> Come, I've ordered your portion as well. Please, eat freely. No. Before that, there is something I would like to ask. Just, who are you? Hmm, an interesting question. My work involves gallery management, but my hobbies are diverse. The Foundation is but one of those hobbies. Broadly speaking, we're responsible for scouting and nurturing talented youth involved in the art world. We offer free scholarships, mediate study abroad programs, and we also connect young artists to customers. At a time, even Madarame participated in our organization. Sensei, I, I mean, Madarame. Indeed, a good many benefited from his time working with us. We were aware of the dark rumors about him, but we could never have seen his confession coming. I suppose it's likely he was deceiving us that whole time. Madarame, to think I once relied on his teachings called him a calling him a mentor oh well fuck i actually had it right the first time this is all because of him it is his fault i can no longer view paintings with a pure heart hmm in the past simply the desire to paint led me to seek beauty but now i find myself constantly weighed down by the search for awards or the praise of others i an ugly attachment has fastened itself upon my work i can no longer paint how i used to my art is tainted. I see. However, it would be wasteful to let your talent dry up. Our foundation would gl uh, gladly support you. Not only a former student of the infamous Madarame, but someone with those looks. There's definitely a market for you. We'll sell you as the tragic handsome artist. Uh, what do you mean? As he said, I am wondering the same thing. Exactly as it sounds. Having your idea stolen by Madarame, losing a place to live, hungry for food. The unstable air about you makes for the perfect tragedy. A story like yours will sell even to those who don't understand art. A story? If you don't have one in the modern climate, nobody will even mention your name. Don't worry. 
We'll handle the details, but in return, you must sell your work through my gallery. We will take a mediation fee, but you'll be greeted, st uh, granted steady revenue and a nice customer base as well. Do not mock me. How foolish. Tragedy? Looks? Story? Those have nothing to do with art. In the end, this is only about money, that which taints pure beauty. How immature. Excuse me? It seems you haven't learned anything after all. You're not looking at reality objectively. Is wealth really that horrible? And beyond that, how long will you continue to chase those illusions of yours? Purity. Art. I decline. Sh shut your mouth. I reject your offer. Hmm. I thought you of all people would have, uh, have the resolve to use art to make a living. I have that resolve. However, I also believe such a life should only come via proper assessment. Hmm. In that case, I have an opportunity for you. My foundation will soon be holding a competition for young artists from around the nation. The prize shall be our, or your, our support. We'll bring customers from around Japan to see the next great talent. There will be a great deal of pressure on you, should you enter. Or perhaps, are you too afraid? What did you say? What he said. I wonder if you have what it takes to withstand a skill-based assessment of that magnitude. I look forward to finding out. Now then, it seems there's no use in any further discussion. You can have them send the bill to my office. You are unforgivable. That avaricious bastard. Oh my god, I really got into the accent there. Why is it that all, mo all artists talk about is money, money, money? Has the true meaning of art been lost? The truth is within you. Ren, yes. you are correct. My passion can change the world. However, I would starve to death without money. Passion alone may fill my heart, but it cannot fill my stomach. What a troubling predicament. You have my thanks. Anyhow, I am quite glad that you chose to accompany me here. I may have a bit or I may have bit my tongue off in anger had it only been me. In other words, you are a soothing force in my life. I, I, I appreciate that, I guess, dog. I better eat all that damn sushi right there, bro. That's a great duplicate. Oh, on the spot. Right. Nice. Okay. I I will partake in Kawanabe's exhibition. I am going to display my ability and prove him wrong. Come, let us go home. Hmm. Actually, we should eat first. The sushi has done nothing wrong, after all. Fair. Turn home. Now then, let us head off. Let me check my time real quick. We're doing good. Rin, I need a pep talk. It's good that I'm sitting in front of the canvas while my emotions are hot, but the lingering taste of sushi has me utterly distracted. Not only that, I allowed Kawanabe to pay for it all. I'm tainted, after all. I'm a petty sellout, a slave to the power of money. Calm down, bro. I, I apologize. I know I'm only acting like this because Kawanabe had me in the palm of his hand. If I'm being honest, I still feel doubts about my work. I may end up embarrassing myself again, but even then, I must express myself. Your support in this world means the world to me. Goodbye for now. Man, it's hot. All right, so we're going to go hang out with our favorite reporter tonight, too. You can boost your kindness here, too. I don't really mind it, but keep yourself in check, okay? Hey, hey. We, ha uh, we have a target we haven't identified yet, right? Maybe, okay, well, blah, blah, blah. Hey, oh yeah, how you doing? Is this weather a result of climate change? Possibly. Our florals. Yeah, let's hang out with our, our favorite reporter. I'm sorry, but let's go somewhere else. You can give me the info later. We gotta get out of here quickly. Someone problematic might have found out about us. Shit. Ah! 
I'm not gonna even say that right there. Yeah, she said it all, you know, well enough for me. This is really annoying. Where is that idiot? Ugh. Crap. Hide. Oh yeah? There you are. What do you think you're doing? Making me look all over the place for you. Ch Chief, what are you doing here? That's my line. Why isn't your phone on? Are you doing something you don't want me to find out about? N no, not at all. Oh, it looks like my battery ran out. I've been busy covering the Phantom Thieves, so... You sure about that? I got a complaint from the higher-ups the other day. Apparently people have seen you snooping around recently. In places unrelated to the Phantom Thieves. That's ridiculous. I've been hot on their trail lately. Who told them that? It doesn't matter who, the board's coming down hard on me for this pause. Now don't make me ask you again. Why are you sneaking around behind the company's back? I'm... Honestly not. I just... Uh... She hasn't done anything wrong. Alright, I'll tell you a secret. Just promise me you'll keep it. I'll tell you, uh... Just promise me you'll keep it a secret, okay? Truth is, I'm in a relationship with this kid. What? Isn't he a minor? That hasn't stopped anybody else in this game so far. Yep, that's why I'm being so discreet about it. Who knows what laws we might be breaking? Who knows? Hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. Maybe that's worth shouting for something later on. I guess keeping our... Tryst? A secret is something... Tougher than I could... What the hell, what the hell is a tryst? Hold on. Remember, only on YouTube will you have somebody who looked this up. What, what the hell does that mean? Trist. A private romantic rendezvous between lovers. I have never heard that word until right now. So yeah, they're having a, 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 a quote-unquote tryst. So it is a new word for you if you didn't know that word. For someone who specializes in fabricating articles, I'd expect you to be a better liar. I expect your resignation letter on my desk next week. If it doesn't come, I'll handle matters myself. Huh? So what? You decide I'm lying and that's that? Give it a rest already. I'm annoyed enough as is for having to come track you down out here. Wait. We're totally dating, aren't we, sweetie? Of course we are. Huh? <laughs> See? Oh, and he's the one who asked me out. So don't think I'm some kind of cradle robber. <laughs> the fuck, bro? Oh yeah, are you blackmailing him? I mean, let's be honest. You don't have the physique to be attracting high school kids. Oh! Oh! This man just loaded the clip and just said, pa, pa, pa. Right through the heart! No remorse! Just cold-blooded. He didn't have to say that out loud like that, bro. Oh, you gonna sit there and take that? Hey, that's sexual harassment. And besides, our love is something that defies both age and logic. Quoth R. Kelly. Nevermore. Uh, whatever. Just make sure you don't miss any deadlines, okay? Of course. So, can we go now? Just one more question. I could have sworn the reason you were sneaking around was so you could follow up on your old partner's case. Huh? Well, oh yeah? That's enough. Hmm. Ugh. Like I said, I'm here on personal business. I promise you. You lost all credibility when you started sneaking around like this, but fine, I'll back off. But don't go pulling any funny stuff, okay? The board wants me to keep a close eye on you. You've been warned. <sighs> Thanks. That guy's one of the execs over at my job. Arrogant bastard. Any, he's the kind of guy all the girls at a bar would instantly turn down. Well, I know a few of those. Anyway, that was a real surprise. Not only are you a good source of info, you're not half as bad as an actor either. You're honestly the type of guy I'd want to grab drinks with after work. Too bad you're underage. I kind of lost my lost whatever voice I was doing for Oya there, so if I lose somebody's voice, I'm just gonna use whatever voice it pops up. Anyways, rank four with Oya. 
Well, I guess that's it for today. Don't stop in any weird shops on your way home, okay? Do 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 I don't know if I mentioned this before, but fun, fun fact, the name of this song is called My Homie, and that is the most fitting name for this song. Do, 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 do. Hello? Hey, kid. You headed straight home, right? No detours. I'm, I'm literally right outside the door. You've got some real acting chops. Man, they really saved me today. Once I go back to the editorial staff, all they asked for, for my daily report... All they asked for was my daily report. Couldn't believe it! You seem like a handy kid to know. Expect another call from me soon. I could use the help. And I'll repay you with the power of journalism, of course. I'll write you a solid article in the Phantom Thieves. Leave it to me! Wow, so dependable. I like guys like you. But, man, you've got a whole lot of guts for a high schooler. Well, I'm sure we'll gradually get to know each other better, so... Speaking of this, something a very similar storyline. I've been reading this manga, right? <laughs> I'm not going to say much about it. Uh, let me know if you get more juicy info. Okay, bye. While well, we set this up, I'm not gonna say anything else about this manga, right? But uh, if you haven't heard, of, if you haven't heard of it. It's called uh, Megami no Sprinter. And let's just say, boy, that sh that shit is wild, bro. I read the first chapter and I was like, yo, what, what the hell going on here? That, like, I I know what the hell is going. I'm not gonna say what it's about because, in, in just case you know, you're curious of reading. Um, you can, as far as I know, there's 35 chapters of it out, and it's still supposed to end quite soon, I think. So, like, yeah, I don't read too much manga, actually. So, the fact that I sat there and I read, and I started reading it, whatever, should tell you something. Anyway, can I, like... Come on. Uh, though you have the whole day free? That seems like a waste. I mean, I have nothing really to do today. I could go to the movies, but, like... You know what? Actually, yeah, let's go to the movies. Uh, the movie theater. They want us to watch a movie to boost kindness, but like, I don't need to boost kindness, but I'll just listen to the movie just to show the movie. Les Mis? Hmm. We're watching Les Mis? Like, it's just straight up Les Mis. We're gonna be hanging out uh, later tonight with somebody else too, so. Where we start the movie. All right, we're doing it on time. It was him. He stole the silverware. He even stole the candlesticks. Thief. Confess your crime. Oh, is there no God in this world? No God in this world. <laughs> what, the, what the hell is that, bro? That bishop guy is too much. He should cut the other guy some slack. I'm gonna learn how to be more compassionate to others. You're just sitting here watching Le Mis, bro. We even watched the credits all the way to the very end. Some other people stayed in here too to watch the credits. Let's head back. Uh oh. Wait, what the hell? All right, let's go home. All right. I don't know if it's sleeping all day would have like screwed me over or not. This is bad. The cleanse is fast approaching. We're not gonna make it if we can't come up with a solution. Speaking of that Medjed shit, people are talking about those leaks everywhere I go. Th the noose is starting to tighten around our necks. Mmm. Hutaba will save us. I have my hopes, but isn't it dangerous to put all your eggs in that one basket? Our only saving grace is that Medjed seems quite intent on sticking to their planned date. We just gotta keep trying till the day comes, yeah? Yes, there's no point in complaining about it now. Let's continue our efforts. Ah! Well, we're gonna head out to Shinjuku, to the Red Light District. I know it's raining, so we can't hang out with Chihaya, but we can hang out with our boy, Mishima! Look at this, look at this beautiful black couple, this king and this queen right here. You'll love to see it. Anyway, um... 
this rain came out of nowhere. Some guy from the Phantom was even asking you guys to bring an umbrella. Sheesh, the Phantom, these aren't some kind of delivery service. DoorDash, hello? Yo, Phantom DoorDash might kind of go hard, though. So, you did the request, I asked. Thanks. Hey, so I figured out another way I can help as your strategic image... Man, whatever the fuck that is. It's a great deal for you. Of course, are you free today? That's a mouthful to say, so... Sure, let's hang out with him. Remember, his is an auto. Sun and moon are both auto. Although some people who played the games wish they were like that too. <laughs> Today's my treat. Fan of these are all about fancy stuff like this, right? That's why we're here. Oh, well, I mean, I've kind of already been here, bro. Oh, and don't, uh, and it's just the two of us, so don't be afraid to go all out. What do you want to eat? Uh, steak sounds good. Doesn't it? Meat's perfect for tough guys like us. Pause on all that mega pause, bro. By the way, in this place is all you can eat, so let's make sure we get our money's worth. Actually, anyway, I posted on the fan site that I had connections to you guys. The fan really ate that up. <laughs> Don't worry though, I didn't say anything that would point to my real identity. I didn't end up talking about how expensive it is to run our little organization though. The donations I got after that were pretty generous to say the least. But I guess our loving sponsors just wanted to show some support. Not bad for strategic management, management, huh? Man, 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 Brandon Mono Monolioma, or whatever the fuck his name was, that football player. You're amazing, bro. Sure, whatever. And it was a piece of cake for someone as skilled as me. Let's take advantage of this windfall as much as we can. Oh, and it's okay to consider this meal an organizational expense, right? Organizational expense? Wait a minute. I've seen on the news that using donations for stuff other than what's publicized is a serious crime. Food is definitely an acceptable business expense, but can the same be said of an expensive buffet? Oh. Well, the more I think about this whole thing, the less I think we should use the donations here. I mean, people would get mad at a politician for using tax money for personal affairs. The same probably applies to the Phantom Thieves. I guess returning the money would be the best choice. That reminds me of the episode where Lois, a family guy where Lois became mayor and she started dumping the fucking oil in there because she was like wasting taxpayer money so she could buy like purses and shit. And she was like stealing and stuff like that too, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and her her running campaign, like what her state her platform was when she was running was just saying 9-11 over and over and people started cheering. So like what are your plan is for for our economy, Mrs. Griffin? 9-11. What the hell does that even mean, bro? What does that even mean? Anyways, uh, sure, you're right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, we really need to make sure we keep the image of the Phantom of these clean in our fans' minds. I think I'll return the money and thank the Phantom for the generosity. They'll love that. It might be a waste of some nice resources, but it's all good as long as it boosts our popularity, right? Man, maybe I was born to do this strategy stuff. I'm honestly getting pretty good at it. Don't worry, I'm still gathering info on the forum too. I actually have a few solid leads right now. Everything so far has been close to home, but these next ones are gonna blow your socks off. What if I'm not wearing socks though? All right. Is he just gonna blow the skin off my soles? Oh God, that sounds disgusting. I'm sorry, I just put that mental image in your head. So if we're returning the money, how are we going to cover our meal? I'm flat broke. Did I have to pay? Oh, we just went home. So it was a waste of time to come out here. Oh, I'm Amiya. Sorry for dragging you out for no reason again. Uh, as strategic image management rep for the set for the Phantom Bees, I wanted to splurge a little to boost morale, but excuse me. I guess it ended up being pretty good for our PR in the end, right? Sure. Yeah, right. It was kind of rough avoiding the employee's glares on the way out, but you gotta stay positive. There's still so much I have to do for you guys. I'm, I'm getting a very similar voice of a certain Danganronpa character right now. That is a series that I will not be playing on this channel, by the way. Whoa! If somebody really, 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 really wanted me to see, uh, see me play the Danganronpa games, I might consider it. Um, cause, hold on, let me check my time while, while I do this little tangent. Okay, we're good on time. Does Dong Rumpa Decadence come out on it? Let me see, Dong and Rumpa Decadence. 
Does that come out for P for PlayStation also, or or like what? No, that's just Switch. Okay. See if my if my stuff was running around. I think an issue with my, with uh, with o the OBS or whatever is more of a, an issue that I can't work on until I get the money to work on that. So we're just gonna be doing direct from PlayStation stuff from now on. I'll work even harder to uh, be a real asset to the fan of these. Okay, bye. But yeah, uh, the voice I was doing there really reminds me of a certain Don Rumpa character. And I mentioned, like, I'll play the game if somebody really, really, really wants me to play any of the games. Anyways. Who are we hanging out with tomorrow? Uh, well, Yusuke, we're not hanging out with you, though. I can tell you that right now. Whoa, I see who we're hanging out with tomorrow. This will probably be the last day I do in this part. So I'll probably do up, you know, I'll, I'll finish this day, and then in the next part, we're going to start on Friday. Oh, this isn't actually a request from the fan site, but a personal one. The truth is, a younger student came to consult with me about something the other day. Sounds like he's getting blackmailed at his job by the store manager. This is inexcusable. Right? From what he told me, money went missing from the register he was supposed to be in charge of. As such, he's been falsely accused of stealing money from the store. And now the money, uh, the manager is making him pay back the full amount. It's fifty thousand yen. Phew! It's a lot of money. Yeah, this guy is like the most honest person I know. There's no way he'd steal that all that money. And while I did some research into the store online, according to some rumors, the manager might be the one stealing the money. He's the one who checks the registers, after all. On top of that, some other staff members saw him taking cash out when he was calculating totals. Well, that's not good. Uh, hold on, let me check something real quick, too. Anyway, the guy's name seems to be Nozomi Odo. I found it out when I looked into the store. Uh, please, you gotta help this student. Let me check something real quick, bro. Hey. Hey, Ren. One of your friends is here to visit. Okay, so that's being said, use case downstairs. I gotta, I gotta ask about something real quick. Maybe I was right about something. Do you voice who I think you do? Oh, well, you don't voice who I think you do. So I looked up his voice actor. Uh, Mishima's. Sean Chiplock. Shout out to Sean Chiplock, by the way. Um, some of you might know him as Rivali. If you watch the dub version of ReZero, you might know him as Subaru. But he does voice the character in Danganronpa. Um, that's not the character I thought, though. You know the what, what it kind of remind me of though that the voice that I was doing for him at least. Um, anyways, we're gonna go hang out with Miss Student Council President. How are we doing on time? All right, good because I've been taking some tangents. You know. Uh, oh, speaking of which, whatever. Since it was a trigger related thing, y'all heard about that that shit in the news recently? It's like this teacher. Uh, she was teaching about Sokotoa. Now, if you've ever had trick, whatever Sokotoa is supposed to be like, you know. Uh, it's supposed to be like, you know, sine is like opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is opposite over adjacent, and tangent would be adjacent over, uh, wait, hold on, adjacent over hypotenuse, oh, uh, opposite over adjacent, that's what, that's what tangent would be, right? It's a trigonometry thing, um, now, we heard about it being used as chief Sokoto when I was in trig back in and that was years ago. That was seven years ago when I took that class, man. Whew. But yeah, that was in 10th grade when I took it. But this teacher was like in full Native like American garb, headdress and all, doing like uh, like dances and stuff like that. That was like awful. I mean, it was like, I think that was in Florida, which I mean, that, that doesn't surprise me. But hey. Actually. Oh, you spoke with Aiko and she said, OK, the double date. She thinks she look a little lame. I look lame, bitch. Up, you know what? Never mind. I ain't going. Shall All right. Go? Let's meet at the diner, as I mentioned before. All right. All right, Makoto, we got this. What the hell? Anyways, <clears throat> yo, my name's Tsukasa. I heard all about you two from Eiko. So, I heard you're the student council pres, Makoto-chan. I totally wish I could be one of your council members. Oh, 
Uh, yes, I, I am totally. Four Eyes here's your boyfriend, yeah? Y yeah. Huh. Looks like you, you guys don't get along too good, though. It's like your love level's rock bottom. Are you seriously dating? Love comes in many forms, that boy! <laughs> well, um... Right. Uh, he doesn't really like it when I get all clingy with him. Oh, I get it. You just don't get any affection compared to us. Mm hmm. Hey, babe, did you do something special today? I don't remember you looking this sexy. <laughs> oh, Sukasa. <laughs> I know, Makoto. I feel the exact fucking same. Sorry, I have to use the bathroom. Later, lovebird. Excuse me. This fucking fake ass Tetsuya Naito looking fucking. Okay, anyway. Um, there's something I'd like to ask you. Are you serious about pursuing a relationship with Eiko? Aha! Uh -huh. I was wondering when our, our honor student was gonna show her true colors. That reminds me, Eiko said you were real pumped about getting to know me. Why is that, huh? I just wanted to make sure you're good for her. Damn, girl! You really care about your friends! Good stuff. I always say friends are, like, super important and shit. Super important and shit? Yeah, alright, dog. Speaking of which, a friend of my girlfriend is totally a friend of mine. How about you tell me your digits? <laughs> What's wrong? Come on, give me your number. I, uh, I, uh, um... Don't be so pushy, bro. Nobody asked you, Four Eyes. Bro, do you want me to whoop your ass in this diner? Because I will. Anyways. Oh, excuse me for a second. Uh, Eiko already gave me yours, Mako-chan. We good? Hey, she's giving out your number? What? Hmm. I do have one more question to ask. You're not going to bring Eiko to your club, are you? What you suspected me? Uh, what? You suspected me? I wouldn't dream of it. It's a damn shame people think us hosts are just flirts. But my love with Eiko is pure snow. Is it that Baltimore snow, bro? Cause trust me, when you see that snow and you go into like a shopping center, whatever, in the parking lot, and you see all that snow, and they got that dirt and shit on top of it, and it's looking like Oreo cream. Yeah, that's not no damn pure snow. I mean, also acid snow was a thing too, so. Huh? Is something wrong? Oh, I was just getting to know your little friend here, honey. Well, I think uh, I should get going. I gotta be at work soon. Ah, uh, me too. Bye! Hmm. I hope he's not tricking her. But no matter what I think, I still don't have any proof, and above all, Heiko seems really happy. Am I just getting in the way of their happiness? Uh, no, you're being considerate. You're, you're being considerate. I suppose so. I mean, I don't really am worried about Echo here. In the end, I know this is just a hunch, but my father always stressed how important it is to trust hunches. It seems that Hostess sent me something already. What is this supposed to be saying? It's just full of emojis. It's me, Sukasa. Heart emoji. I know we just met, but I couldn't wait to phone emoji you. I'm so happy to be friends with you, Mako-chan. Clapping emoji. Clapping emoji. Hot springs emoji. <laughs> that was barely a coherent sentence, but I'll need to get used to that if I'm going to help Eiko. By the way, I'm glad you were here with me. I would have really panicked had I been alone. I honestly despise how immature I can be sometimes, but I'm working uh, through that with your help. So, thank you. Well, that was nice. What rank were we? Oh, rank set or six? Excuse me. All right. All right. How are we doing on time? Did I take too long? No, I did not take too long. We should get going too. I'll let you know if anything else comes up. All right then. Goodbye.
Yo! Hey, Ren. Uh, thanks so much for everything today. I feel strangely exhausted. It reminds me of when we went to the Red Light District. Even after we spent ways, that host kept sending me messages. He uses these weird emoji or these weird symbols. I have no idea what he's saying. I want to ignore him, but I shouldn't for Echo's sake. Tell him you're on a date. Oh, yeah, that'd be a good excuse to ignore him. You have some great ideas. Thanks, I'll try responding with that. I just can't shake those doubts about Eiko's boyfriend. I can't tell if he's a bad guy, but he doesn't seem on the level either. I need a little more information. Thanks for all your advice. I'll talk to you later. Well, that was nice. All right. Hmm. Hopping on what? Hmm. All right, guys, I got distracted again. And we're gonna go to the district. I'm in the red light district. And then... Alright! Hello, Chihaya! Okay, you can talk to about my women. Please be careful. Let's do a verification test. Fortuna! <laughs> I'm a sensei. The thing is... Recently, my reputation has really started shooting up. A lot of clients, uh, my clients have uh, leave really happy now too. I even managed to use my own powers to alter some fates that had once seemed inevitable. I suppose all you really need to change fate is a strong will, like what you have. I wish I could do more though. Are you on a break right now, Mifune-kun? What? F Fukurai-san? So, are you the apprentice I've heard so much about? I've been wondering why are you so interested in Mifune-kun? Uh... She's really cool. Cool? You're a strange one. That was a violation. He really said she- I'm strange for calling her cool. That, that's actually wild. That's a double violation, actually. That aside, I have to commend your judgment in choosing Mifune-kun. Her fortunes are like a light, guiding lost lambs through the unending darkness ahead. Oh, um... By the way, uh, Amamiya-san, this man here is, uh, Fukurai-san. He's, um, the chairman of the ADP. Oh, right, you don't know what the ADP yet. Uh, no, about the ADP yet. Uh, it stands for Assembly of the Divine Power. Our goal is to relieve the... Uh, relieve the hearts and minds of today's weary souls via healing events and seminars. We also sell holy stones. The well from which our divine power springs. They are a large part of our business. Um... Fukurai-san, um... That reminds me. Yokoro-kun was telling me you've been acting a little... strange recently. More importantly, it seems you've been... Start, or you started falling behind on your Holy Stone sales quotas. Is everything okay? Yes, uh, I'll cover the decrease in revenue with my fortune-telling fees. Um... Fukurai-san? I, uh... I'm not sure how... A Effective these holy stones really are. Excuse me? Girl, you won't have to stop moaning in my ear like that. <clears throat> I mean, uh, well. Do you remember how or who showed you the way when you arrived here from the countryside, lost and confused? Do you remember who saved you when you were stuck working in a seedy club with no place to turn? It was me. Are you saying you no longer have trusted someone who's done so much for you? Th that's not it. Then enough of this skepticism. Just focus on continuing your role as the Maiden of Relief. Read the fortunes of those unfortunate souls who have come to us and lead them to salvation with the Holy Stones. Maiden of Relief? That's a nickname I gave her over at the ADP. Beautiful, don't you think? Mm. I... You don't want things to go back to how they were, do you, Mafune-kun? Don't you remember breaking down in front of me? 
telling me how everyone called you a monster. If you don't carry your weight as the maiden relief, you'll be exactly that. A monster. Can you like, leave her alone, dog? I'm a Mia-san. Fine. If you want to spend your time fooling around with this child, go right ahead. But don't forget, Mufune-kun. The ADP is the one place you'll ever belong. <laughs> I, I've i never actually worked at a nightclub. I did get tricked into walking into one, though. Uh, anyway, the chairman is known for exaggerating details. You must think I'm weird, huh? All this talk about me being a maiden or a, a monster. You're just shy to me. What? Huh? Nobody's ever treated me so nicely before. By the way, it was pretty amazing how we stood up to the chairman back there. I would never have been able to talk to him about the Holy Stones had I been alone. But your strength helped me speak up. I need to be strong like you more often. Bro, her eyes are like really pretty though. All right. Like just look at him. Even so, the, the chairman seems serious about the whole Holy Stone issue. See, I'm fooling with you going like, um, or whatever, but that other, that other sound clip, bro, you don't have to chill with that. You know, I would have been sitting here like, you know, like the rock in that one, that one, hold on, what am I doing one time? Can I do this? Okay, I got time to be hot, a hot dog in the grandstanding like this. But you know, you know, that video of the rock where the rock is like, hey, easy, big fella, easy, easy. And then I, you know, let me, let me stop. I got to stop with that, bro. <laughs> I mean, these kids are, I said these kids aren't rated for video. These videos aren't rated for kids anyway. So like, this game's rated M. But you know, I can't be a menace on the mic. Uh, even so, the chairman seems serious about the whole Holy Stone issue. He'll make me pay a fine if I don't meet my quotas. And there's a huge penalty for resigning from my post. I suppose my fate is impossible to change after all. Um. You say that. Anyway, I should close up for today. Later! Alright, well, that shouldn't be too bad. Hmm. I'm um, sorry about today. I really already don't know what I must do in order to change my face. I already know what I blah, 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 blah. But whenever I face, face the chairman, I just can't find the courage to say what I need to. No need to, you know, restrain yourself. Uh. Oh, okay, I see something happening for later uh, the next day. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you gotta be honest with yourself. Oh, you're absolutely right. Nothing will come of making excuses. I'm the only one who can change my weakness. You're so strong, I'm a Mia-san. I'm going to think about all this a little more. Thank you once again for today. I'll see you next time. Well... That was nice. And here we are, about 50... I'm gonna guess three. I was correct. 53 minutes later, here we are. You guys know what's coming up here? Well, we're gonna end things off here. And in the next one, we are going to start off by talking with our boy Yusuke. So, I would like to thank everyone for watching, to my brothers and sisters and everybody else in between. I will catch you guys in the next one. Nine days to the cleanse, guys. I'm going to try to get through as many days as we possibly can, so maybe this next week will be fulfilled with that. I may or may not be going out of town, uh, but potentially, uh, in the next week, whatever. But just because I know uh, this is the Monday episode. When I record for the Friday episode, I'll say what I want to say for that, whatever. Either way, though, like I said, deuce.